So how are speakers matched to amplifiers? And our question comes all the way from Pakistan. It seems like a long way away to me. That's right next door to India. In fact, it used to be part of India, if I remember right. Bilal in Karachi writes, Paul, I am curious to know how electronics are matched with speakers. As some electronics work better with certain speakers, how can one tell without actually listening to them? I live in Karachi, Pakistan. We don't have much choice to go in a high-end audio retailer to demo the equipment. I remember seeing in one of your videos that you had paired Focal Sopra 3s with your DS DAC BHK Pre BHK Mono. You're right, that was at RMAF, the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, and it was a great sounding system. I also have Sopra 3s in my system, nice. And would it be safe to assume that PS Audio would match well with these speakers? And also, could you touch upon how you select speakers when participating at shows? Well, yeah, absolutely. You can, uh, you can assume PS Audio stuff is going to work really well with those Sopras because, as many people will attest to, that was one of our better sounding rooms at the show. Now, part of that was in thanks to the great setup of John Hunter, the president and owner of Rel Acoustics. They all, we also had subwoofers in there, and John set that up using his master's setup technique, which I wish I could bottle up and sell. I mean, John's got a way of setting up speakers that is just extraordinary, and I can't even hardly describe it to you. It's, it, you start with one speaker and you move it around until a certain bass note gets just right, and then you grab the other speaker and then move it around until that bass note is just right. It's all, I think we used Jennifer Warren's famous blue raincoat. And I sat there for two, two and a half hours watching John just move these things quarters of an inch. Just, and he's listening, standing at the speaker. Once in a while, he'd come back and listen in the listening chair, but most of it was done right there, and it would just play this one pluck of the bass over and over and over. Really an extraordinary process, but at the end of the day, it just sounded great. One of the problems with the Focals, they're great speakers, don't get me wrong, but they have a very revealing tweeter, and if your amplifier is harsh or a little aggressive or in any way bright, that will just be magnified by those Focal tweeters. So one of the reasons our amplifier works so well, the BHK, is because whether it's Stellar or BHK, we make sure that it's very musical on the top end and, and isn't the opposite. And a lot of amps do that. A lot of amps will depend on a much duller presentation of a speaker so that the the slight aggression of the amplifier makes up for the dullness on the tweeter's top end. We do completely the opposite. I would rather have a musical top end as reproduced by a revealing tweeter because if you have to err and, and nothing is perfect, so we all, we all err on one side or another, I'm always going to err on non-aggressive sound great imaging, speakers disappearing, and I don't, I just can't stand that bright, strident sound where it's like, whoa, I'm hearing all this detail, this is all, this is really great. And then after about five minutes, like, ah, I want to turn the stereo system off. It's just, I just, you know, after all these years, 45 years of doing this, it's the one thing that bugs me more than anything. I will give up detail any day for a sweeter, more musical sound. And, th and that's just me, and that's just us. And that's how we design products, and that's how we, we, the decisions we make. And those are all kinds of decisions. But I want to get to a more basic thought process on this. First off, technically, if we ignore tube amplifiers and their output transformers, which as many of my listeners know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of because an output transformer is, is, I think, the worst way to hook up a loudspeaker to an amplifier. I know that it converts the high output impedance of a tube 
into something more useful to a speaker, but it's just not my cup of tea. So if you're going to use vacuum tubes, do it like we do it. Get the sound of the vacuum tube on the input of the amplifier and put something powerful and performance correct at the output of the amplifier. So we use MOSFETs, you could use bipolars, there's a number of ways to do it. But to me, the ideal amplifier has a high damping factor, which is something we should talk about at some point, what damping factor means. Essentially, real quick, it means it, it's a, a means of measuring output impedance of the amplifier. And the lower the output impedance of the amplifier, the, the better chance it has of controlling the loudspeaker as opposed to the loudspeaker controlling the amplifier. So higher the damping factor, the more control your amp has of the speakers. And essentially it's output impedance. So that's something that tube amplifiers with transformers in their output that, that are not OTLs, they have, they struggle with that. One of the reasons I don't, I don't particularly like them. I love the sound of tubes, don't, don't get all jiggy on me here. But modern amplifiers, modern, well-designed, solid state amplifiers, be they hybrids with tubes on the input or just straight solid state amplifiers, generally have low enough output impedance that it doesn't really matter what the speaker is you're connecting it to. It could have uh, huge variances in the impedance and the dips. So generally, technically speaking, modern solid state amplifiers are well matched to most loudspeakers without even giving a thought to it. So, that said, those parameters stated, if you then just think about matching speakers and amps in terms of sonics, that's, well, that's a whole other kettle of fish, but it's what we do. Real simply, look for the amplifier's reputation. Is it one of uh, overly detailed etched sound, well that's going to work really well with a speaker that doesn't have the same characteristic in its tweeter and the opposite. So something like the Focal, that's got, that's, that's very revealing on the top end. It, it'll pick up anything you do with uh, brightness, over, over etched detail, etc. So you just want to make sure that your electronics doesn't exacerbate that situation. I hope that helps. Thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.